1942 proof Jefferson nickel. Graded as PF 68 by NGC. PF standing for proof. According to NGC, the mintage of 1942 proof nickels was divided over two highly distinctive issues, but even the conventional copper nickel pieces enjoyed sales well above those of previous years. Most purchasers of complete proof sets received this issue and later, if they desired, purchased the wartime variety separately. This is the most available of the pre-1950 proofs in high grades. The US Mint had pretty much perfected its proofing process, with the exception of the desirable contrast between fields and devices. This occurred accidentally, if at all, and such coins are quite rare. This specimen was sold for $930 on October 31, 2023. Number 7. 2006 Lincoln Cent with Satin Finish. Graded as SP70 Red by PCGS, the utmost grade available in modern numismatics. This penny is produced with extreme care so no bag marks even tiny hairlines emerge on the surfaces of this gem after striking. Lustrous and with outstanding eye appeal this coin of unsurpassable quality fetched a sum of $1,170. Number 6. 1941s Mercury Dime with full band and attractive toning on obverse. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. NGC Census is comprised of 42, while PCGS population of 24 dimes in this elusive grade. By the way, metal composition of this gem is 90% silver, 10% copper. It was sold for $1,560 on October 31, 2023. Number 5. 2004 Piece Metal Nickel. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the piece metal designed by Norman Nemeth was only employed in 2004, and remains extremely popular among collectors. This is an incredible condition rarity from a mintage of 361 million coins, one of only 8 MS68 representatives at PCGS with none finer. Smooth, fully struck, and satiny, this brilliant superb gem nickel shows a single tick left of the E and E pluribus unum. It was sold for $3,055. Number 4. 2006 D. Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 68 FS by PCGS. FS stands for full steps, meaning all steps of Monticello porch on the reverse, are fully struck and delineated. After the completion of the Westward Journey series in 2005, the 2006 Jefferson Nickel reverted to Schlag's Monticello reverse but changed the obverse to a forward-facing Jefferson. MS-68 specimens are elusive and sought after by collectors. This one ended up selling for $4,230. Number 3. 2004 D. Wisconsin Quarter. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. So-called Extra Leaf Low Variant. This popular cherry pickers variety features an apparent extra leaf positioned low on the husk of corn. According to cherry pickers, the artifact resulted when a tool with a rounded edge was deliberately impressed into the working die. The leaf was not part of the original design. This delightful superb gem is sharply detailed, impeccably preserved, and fully lustrous, with outstanding eye appeal. It ended up selling for $6,000. Number 2. 1937 Proof Washington Quarter Dollar. Graded as PR68 by PCGS. He 1937 Proof Washington Quarter boasts a mintage of just 5,542 pieces, the smallest proof output of any denomination that year. The Washington design was relatively new in 1937, but the motifs were not perceived as attractive or artistic, and the demand for single proof examples was quite small. The great majority of the coins were sold as part of complete proof sets. The date enjoys much greater popularity with present-day collectors. The present coin is a magnificent PR68 example, with deeply mirrored surfaces and razor-sharp definition on all design elements. Attractive traces of aquamarine toning add to the stunning eye appeal on both sides. It was sold for $17,825. Number 1. 1932D Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. Luminous copper-orange surfaces exhibit rose and reddish accents that heighten the visual appeal substantially. Both sides are effectively flawless and awash in shimmering satin mint luster. Well struck with a single carbon speck in the right obverse field. An excellent gem for a dedicated Lincoln scent collectors. It was sold for $25,200. Number 2. 
If you have any questions or want to share your own numismatic discoveries, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Take care.